Then I worked at Georgetown Law for two years. And so I got started with that. And you, you were you were helping lawyers with that. I was, was working it? with law students. Okay. Only all my all of my patients were law students, and that's and I was doing that part time, and then I started building up my private practice. Okay. And okay. now, that's, so that's I, interesting. How 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 related to the veterans were the, <laughs> of the of the people going through law school? Because I feel like that might be a little bit of similarity. Uh, yeah. uh, bar, man. I, I see it everywhere. I just see it. I hear the bar. Different They're clacking together. Different type of trauma, yo. <laughs> Different type of trauma. Of course, no yo, the legal the profession, and, and, and I don't think I don't think um, I don't think you know this either because I don't think I, I've had a conversation with you about this. But so since so I did two years at, at Georgetown Law while building up my private practice, right? And that, and then mm -hmm. I moved into that full time. But so around the time when George, uh, the, the whole George Floyd movement, mm -hmm. a lot of the big law firms, many are located in D.C. and New York, they're looking for like DEI specialists and psychologists to like work with their people because they're like, yo, we got the whole culture fucked up. DEI like, like, meaning. DEI, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just throwing letters again. So. <laughs> <laughs> Diversity, equity, and inclusion. Okay. Ah, okay. So yeah, that's the, a real law for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. So those are like the departments and big companies that be like, we kind of give a shit about like people of color, but on paper. Really. Yeah, <laughs> on paper. <laughs> on paper. They but not, but not really.